Hey there fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're here in El Salvador. And today what I want to talk about is just an overview of the five C's of pricing. Because when you start thinking about price and you have to think about all the things that influence companies when they're actually going to price their products out. Okay. And so when we kind of go through these, it really kind of explains, oh, now I understand why Lexus's cost more than Toyota's. I know why those places that focus on getting spring breakers have lower prices than the place to go for the family travel kind of stuff. There's a lot of influence we really have to think about. Okay. And so the first kind of C I want to talk about are called company objectives. What does our company want to be? So you think of Walmart, what do they want to be? They want to be affordable for everybody. They want to be the cheap alternative. So by having that company objective, how does it influence their pricing? Well, they have very low profit margins. They're not buying products. They're going to be really expensive to sell there. I mean, you're not going to find the highest, highest end, you know, computer there, or the highest, highest end, you know, TV there. You're going to find ones that more people can afford at a price point that people can afford more, right? So that's part of our objective. That's what we want to be. Whereas other places, look, we want to be the high end, you know, stereo and electronic store. And so by doing that, they're going to have higher prices, right? Because they're going to have higher end products and that's going to influence things. So with companies like Toyota, they have that, look, our company objective for the Toyota brand is for the middle class that can afford our kind of products. Okay. Middle class prices. So they price at that spot. And then Toyota says, well, we want to sell to a higher price point. Well, when we have our Lexus brand, right? And so that's going to be more expensive, fancier. So therefore our prices are going to re reflect that. Okay. So our company objective is the first C. Now the second C is very important. That's the customers. That's you. We have to think about is who do we want to sell to? Who are we going to be targeting? And then we have to think about is, Hey, what do they value? What, what do they value for that price? What, what price do they think fits there and stuff like that? So the, where we're staying now is actually right by a surfer beach. And so that where we're staying, this is geared towards surfers. Okay. Usually those customers don't have a lot of cash on them. They just want to go surf and that's it. And so what do we need? We need to make sure we're pricing where those customers can afford it. Okay. So we're doing our research about our customers or what they can pay, what's important to them. So here there's no Wi-Fi, there's no TVs, there's none of that stuff. There is a place for you to get your boards. And then you got this little hut here that has a bed inside, the showers outside. That's it. So we're doing a kind of a bare bones kind of thing. And so we price that accordingly for that customer group. Whereas if you have fancier products and you're trying to go for a fancier customer, well then, Hey, we're going to price it. So they feel that it's fancy. I mean, those Gucci t-shirts that cost, you know, $300 probably are coming from a similar factory to the shirt that's made it made t-shirts for $5. But why? Oh, that brand. I want to have the Gucci shirt. I want to have my Supreme across the front for 300 bucks or something like that. I mean, you get the idea. Those aren't the actual prices, but you get the idea is they're looking at what customers are willing to pay, what customers can pay and stuff like that. That's going to influence your pricing. Okay. Now, another big thing you really got to think about the third C are costs. How much is it going to cost you to make your product? Okay. Cause if you don't factor in your own costs, you're going to go out of business. I mean, this is one thing I hear people go out, say all the time. When I talk to them, we're going to have high quality at low price. I'm like, um, you can't have high quality at low price because it costs a lot of money to have those high quality inputs. So you're going to lose money on every sale. And the more you sell is the more you lose. And so you kind of have to think about these things, right? And so we want to make sure is we can, we can figure out what are our fixed costs, our variable costs and things like that. We need to factor that in to our end price. So it all kind of fits into there. Okay. Now the next C, the fourth C you want to look at is competition. I mean, our competition really does influence our pricing because let's say we're here on the beach in El Salvador and you've got all these like little hotels and, and hostels and little bungalow things that's all geared towards surfers and they're all pricing around about the same price. Why? Because all my competition for this surfer beach, they're all going for the same co customers. They're all going to be on the same price. I can't charge way, way higher because then people go to my competitor, but I don't maybe do. I don't want to choose way, way low because why lose the money? Because people already have an idea of what the competition's charging. So that's going to influence us. So you look at it. If you think about it, McDonald's had their dollar menu or has their dollar menu or Euro menu, wherever you are. And you'll see that the other fast food places, Hey, look, we have to have a, a competitive pricing menu as well. So the value meal, or the value deals kind of stuff or a Euro menu, some other places they do that because your competition really does influence your pricing. Okay. And then the fifth thing I want to talk about are your channel members. Everybody you work with has to make money. Okay. Whether it's the, the retail store that's selling your product, whether it's the people doing your online sales, whether it's the, the people delivering your products, everybody needs to get paid. Because if someone's not getting paid, they're not going to be working for you. So you have to factor all this in when you're looking at your pricing. 
hey, how do I make sure that I make my money, okay? How do I make sure that the delivery company makes money and the end customer feels like they're getting a good deal? We have to th figure in those prices there to make sure everybody's doing okay. And so you have those five kind of five C's there to really influence pricing overall. Now I do have a video for each one of the five C's that go more in depth so you have a better understanding of it, which will really help you figure out is, hey, what should we be doing with our pricing? Check out those videos to help you out, all right? So I wish you all the best and I'll say bye from here in El Salvador.